Hello and welcome to another edition of Teacher Talk Second Grade. And man, we have a good one today. Check it out. Who would win? Jaguar versus Skunk. Hey, before we get started, hit subscribe. We appreciate it so much. It helps me out a whole bunch. And Jaguar versus Skunk, I know a lot of you guys have been waiting for us, so I'm glad to finally get it to you. And I believe that is the last book in this Who Would Win series to have on this channel. So I hope you're enjoying them. Please keep in mind the idea of putting these books and the other books that I have on this channel is to gain your interest in these and other books so that you will read, read, read. So buy these books. Talk to your teachers about getting them through Scholastic or possibly through Amazon or, well, I don't know, however you get these books, maybe even the public library, although some of these books I have not seen at our local uh, library, so you'll have to see what's in your neck of the woods. All right, friends, with no further ado, we're going to get down to business here. A uh, couple details, though. This is the level P on the GRL. If you're familiar with this channel, you'll know that level P is towards the end of third grade as far as reading level goes. I teach second grade. About half my class uh, are very high readers, and this is a book that's a good for, fit for them. And so much fun to learn these nonfiction facts in this style of a format. I mean, who doesn't want to read about a battle, right? How cool is that? All right, Jaguar versus Skunk. I am going to show you every page and we will gain some facts here and gain some uh, information to build towards our, some evidence to build towards our prediction. But keep in mind the idea here is also to kind of see if these words are a good fit for your level of reading and to go out and purchase these books so you can really study them, understand all these facts, build your evidence and uh, have some fun with them. All right friends, Jaguar versus Skunk. First, let's give some credit. This is not my book. This is Jerry Pilata. Jerry, you are a genius. Excellent job, my friend. Illustrated by Rob Bolster. You guys have done a wonderful job with this series. Cheers to you. There we go. There's our Jaguar. There's our skunk. Oh, it already looks a little stinky on that page. So we'll read the beginning part and we'll read the very end and we'll just kind of walk through it here, some of the other pages. What would happen if a skunk and a jaguar came nose to nose? If they had a fight, who do you think would win? So if you know this series, you know that they're going to kind of tell you all these different facts about these two guys, right? So meet the jaguar, going to give you the definition, the big facts, and talk about all these different aspects to these creatures. Meet the skunk telling you all kind of awesome information about that skunk. Talk about special skills they have like climbing and swimming. And for that skunk, hiding. Different facts for you like getting to know your cat and talking about their uh, the patterns that they have on their fur. And same thing goes for those skunks. Look at that, spotted skunk. Didn't even know that existed. Range and world, basically saying where are these guys found? This is an interesting word. I, I'm honestly not sure if it's crepscu, crepscular, screpscular, crepscular. I think crepscular is probably it. But basically what this means is that these um, animals are animals that hunt in the evening uh, when the sun's going down and in the early dawn hours when the sun is coming up versus nocturnal, which is of course, meaning that these animals are awake at night and hunting at night. Dinner versus supper. Basically talking about what these guys are eating. Warning, beware of the jaguar. How funny is that? They've got the Olympics. Might tell you some interesting stuff here about these jaguars. Exactly how fast they are. Warning, beware of the skunk. Look at that car. That just looks stinky all the way through the page. I feel like I can almost smell those skunks. If you've had an encounter with a skunk, you know what I'm talking about. 
hearing versus smelling. So it says in here that I thought was kind of cool that the jaguar is the only cat in the Western Hemisphere that roars. So you might be able to hear it. And of course, if you know skunks at all, you'll know that you're going to be able to smell that skunk whether you want to or not. Alone, this is describing how the jaguar is a solitary cat. Basically kind of lives by itself. And talks about the, this is kind of an interesting fact. Cool, smelly facts. The name Chicago is from the Ohiba. Gosh, I don't, I am butchering that. Ohiba? Indian language for skunk land. So basically Chicago means skunk land. That is really, really interesting. Talks about their teeth and the little jaw on the skunk. More weapons, sharp claws, camouflage, speed, and quickness. And how that skunk has one weapon, one stinky, stinky weapon. Talks about their speed. Coming up on 50 miles an hour and looks like it's not quite 10 miles an hour. All right, we're getting into some battling here and it kind of talks about some of the battles. You can see that leopard taking on a crocodile or alligator. Actually, it's a crocodile, and you'll know that. Looks like those teeth would hang over if they close their mouth. And check out this channel and look at some of the uh, other battles, and you'll learn facts like that. Shows you down here. There's that skunk eating away at a dragonfly, and also at a frog. And some of the different battles that these creatures have had in the past. Some of the things they might eat. There's a skunk eating an egg. Leopard going after a turtle and a wild boar. All right, friends, and here is our final pages. Here is the battle. The hungry jaguar is walking in the rainforest. It is looking for another meal. The jaguar sees the skunk. The jaguar could easily rip the skunk to shreds. This may be no contest. All right, you've built some facts, buy this book and build some more evidence. And what do you think? Who's going to win this one? Or are they going to battle at all? The jaguar can't stand the smell. It runs away as fast as possible. Congratulations to the skunk. The fierce jaguar quit the battle. Stink wins. That jaguar wanted no part of that skunk. Hey, here's something cool. Um, as you're reading this book, you can talk about who or, or show your evidence on who has the advantage in these different areas like size and teeth and stink and claws and speed and weight. And you can help the, to track your evidence here as you build evidence towards who would win this. All right, friends. Hope you enjoyed that book. I've got all kinds of other books on here too. Here's the one I just finished right there, Ultimate Jungle Rumble. Subscribe, like this channel and check out the other Who Would Wins I have as well. All right, friends, appreciate your time. We'll talk to you soon.